Please welcome General Keith Alexander, founder and CEO of IronNet Cybersecurity and former director of the NSA. So thanks, thanks. You know what I just found out? I have a face made for radio. Um, so the clock started, yep, I've got 16 minutes. Four star. Uh, actually, they cut it to seven, six. Um, I'm gonna talk about three key things. I wanna bring together what uh, Rick, Lisa, Bob, Irfan, and Oren. Let's give Oren a big round of applause. That was excellent, wasn't it? What they talked about, where we're going in technology. I wanna talk about how that's gonna impact us, and then what do we do about it. First, about technology. You know, it's interesting. Rick talked about Moore's Law. Technology is doubling every two years. More important, unique information is doubling now more every year. More, less than a year, you're gonna see unique information double. What's that mean? That means we'll create more unique information this year than the last 5,000 years combined. And if you think about all this stuff that's going on, the top 10 in-demand jobs the kids are going for today didn't exist 10 years ago. 10 years ago, the iPhone came out. Now we have people going, rushing to iCloud, rushing for the apps. These are the jobs of the future. What's all that mean? That means we're teaching kids in school for technology that hasn't been created on jobs that don't exist to solve problems we don't even know our problems. Tremendous opportunity. We live in exponential times. Think about what Rick and the others said. You know, I, was, I have this, I'm being paid by IBM, not really. But if you think about what IBM did with Watson, right? They played Jeopardy against some of the best Jeopardy players in the world, they beat them. Everybody goes, that's great. What IBM did in the medical community is fascinating. If you're diagnosed with brain cancer, you're given about 14 months to live, plus or minus two, because it took that long to identify the radiation and the chemotherapy that you needed. About a month, 30 days. With Watson, they dropped that from 30 days down to nine minutes. This technology that's being created the collaboration, that unique data, will change the world that exists today. We live in exponential times. It's fascinating. You know, I hope we get to what Oren said about building 3D eyes, solving cancer, building back spinal cords. That's in our future. We cannot slow down. But with all of that comes tremendous vulnerabilities. Think about the vulnerabilities that have hit. Just 10 years ago, iPhone came out, we had attacks on Estonia. I'm not blaming that on Apple, but it's interesting to note the time. Having been the director of NSA, I've been blamed on things like that too. But when you think about it, so you had a nation state attack Estonia, Russia. A year later, did somebody say Russia? That's right. A year later, Georgia was hit with the same one when Russian troops went into Georgia on a real-world attack, they got hit, their banks, their government, with cyber attacks. The greatest irony, 2008, the Defense Department, the U.S. Defense Department, was hit with malware. Blamed again on Russia. That resulted in, ironically, the creation of Cyber Command. They helped me get my fourth star, thank you very much. All these things work out for the good, right? <laughs> so when you look at it, you had all these attacks, and then in 2012, the destructive attacks. You know, it started with Saudi Aramco, and it went on and goes on and on. What's that mean? Cyber is now being used as an element of national power and it will not stop. What we, all of us, can do is create a new system. And in that new system, we have to make it more defensible 
and has to be simple and we need to integrate it together. Get rid of all the automated, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Throw your iPhones away. No, actually, integrate it. How do we do this? How do we bring this together? And it's where the partnership with companies like Teammate and IronNet come in, where we begin to build the ecosystem that companies need to defend their networks. And if we can defend a company network and take the information that's hitting that network and share it, think of how much better an energy sector would be if all the information that was hitting 5,000 companies in an energy sector was shared with all those at network speed. So the first step is come up with a way of sharing information amongst companies within sectors at network speed that can allow you to defend a network, a sector, at, at network speed. It's got to be at network speed. If we do that, and we can do this, this is where you take what's going on in the deception, what you're seeing in all the behavioral analytics, what you see at your boundary. Share that. You can begin to piece together who's attacking and what they're trying to do. More importantly, if we do that, then we can take a further step. We can then begin to build out what we absolutely need to defend a nation and work with allies. So imagine this. As a company, if somebody's hitting each of you and you're, a, you're a, an entire network for a company, and you have to defend that yourself, that's what we do today. Every company defends itself and then manually shares information out. Now what we're saying is what's hitting you is being shared, you're still defending yourself, and you're sharing it within a sector. And this is the energy sector. You guys are full of energy. You're, oh, please wake up in the front. No, I'm just kidding. Over here, the financial sector, you have all the money. Please help out the energy sector. As you're getting hit and you see that, these two sectors can share amongst themselves, but more importantly, with the government. And if you're being attacked by a nation state, you don't have the ability in either of these sectors to attack back. It's illegal in our country to attack back. So who's going to do that? It's got to be the government. But if the government can't see it, they can't do it. We have the technical ability to do that today. If we work together as companies, within sectors, among sectors, with our nation and with our allies, we can really leverage the technology that's being created, that which Oren talked about, not only for medicine, but to protect our countries. Because other countries are going to use cyber as an element of national power and attack us. We have to be ready. Thank you very much, folks.